Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is KShare22 here, and today we'll be learning how to open a file. And uh, in the last tutorial, I taught you guys how to save files. In this video, we'll be, of course, learning how to open them. So go ahead, and I'm starting off from the previous project that we had before. And uh, you don't really need to have the same project, so if you're just jumping on this video, just kind of ignore this part. Uh, but I'm just going to add on to it. All you need is to add another text box. I'm just going to copy and paste this one. You can do this with Control C and Control V. Control V is the paste. Then we're going to need another button which says uh, open from. So this is going to be pretty simple, you guys. It's going to be really similar to the other uh, coding that we did. So it's not going to be too difficult for you guys to memorize this. So let's go ahead and start with our variable like we did last time. So new open file. No, dim open file as new open file dialog. And let's go ahead and go on to our next line. And here we're going to be starting with our file name. So open file dot file name is equal to blank. We can actually put something in there, but we don't have to. Save file dot filter. Dot, oh my gosh, why are you doing this? Dot filter. Oh, my bad. Open file dot filter is equal to uh, text files. And then we can just copy whatever we had from above. Dot txt. And we can go on to the next line, which would be our open file name. Is equal to, oh, title, sorry. Title is equal to open. And our next line is going to be open file dot show dialog. So now, of course, we're going, going to need another try statement, and we're going to want a new variable. So dim read as new system .io .stream reader. So literally the opposite, you guys. So if you can remember the writer part or the reader part, you guys can literally just do the opposite and remember the other one. So open file dot file name. Then we can go on to the next line, which would be read dot read. Actually, what? No, we want it to be text box two dot text is equal to read dot read to end. What this is saying is that it's gonna put the file that we open is gonna be all displayed in text box two, which is this text box right here which is a good thing and then we can go ahead and close our reader so reader dot close and uh, if you don't close your reader um, what's going to happen is is you if someone presses the button again you might have a conflicting issue or a syntax error or it would actually be a runtime error those are something that you don't encounter often but that would be a runtime error where you uh, you're trying to open a process that is already open, so your game, your program is actually going to freeze up and say not responding. So let's go ahead and test this. Let's start it, and I'm going to go ahead and just create a new file. Just say uh, hello YouTube, and put a smiley face, and then I'm going to save it to my desktop and just name it YouTube One. I'm going to go ahead and exit out all that content and just put in new letters just to, just I mean numbers just for the heck of it. Now let's go ahead and open it. YouTube one and it displays here. Now I could save it. And I can actually double click it and override it. Then I can open it again and it will change. So I can see the way that this functions is quite nice. Now hey you guys in the next tutorial I'm not actually going to be showing you guys how to save 
and open files from uh, streams. I'm going to actually show you guys how to make these two codes more advanced. So stay tuned for the next tutorial as I'll be showing you guys how to do that.